Hey guys, welcome back to our series on Gigalitzer. Now I wanted to show you guys a really, really awesome feature about Gigalitzer and Elixir itself. Now, because Elixir's history, it's uh, a software that's meant to stay up as long as possible. So the nice thing that the people who invented Erlang uh, did was they invented a feature called Hot Code Upgrades. Now, what is a hot code upgrade, you may ask? A hot code upgrade is actually the ability to upgrade your software while it's still running. That's why they call it hot code upgrade because your software is still being used, it's still hot. And so I wanted to show you guys how this is uh, achieved and how to do it within your own Elixir application. Now, what we have here is uh, our app running on Giga Elixir. And it's quite simple. You'll see there's a very simple state. There's a state going on, which is the timer, which every second it's going to tick, and a greeting that we send out. Okay. And if I refresh this, you'll see we get set back to basically zero. But in this case, it happens to connect a little bit slow. So we start at the two. And how we do this is quite simple, right? We generate a random channel using math.random and JavaScript. And we have a room channel, which we join. We don't really care too much about the room, just that we join it. And we have a dynamic supervisor. And we start a timer and we pass in the room. Now, why is that? Because within the timer itself, what we do is we hold on to the room and we set a, the timer at zero. And we have a greeting here, which as you see over here, hey, matches this one. And we send ourselves a message saying, let's do the counter. And of course, because this is a gen server, as you can see here, when we send ourselves a message, we're going to use handle info to handle that message. And here's our state. We break it down to room, the timer, and the greeting that we set before. We just add one to our timer. We send ourselves a new message after a second to do the same thing. And now here's what we do is we take that room that we passed in, we broadcast over the endpoint, the timer and the greeting, okay? And then we just send back our state. So what I'm going to do is instead of saying, hey, I'm going to say, uh, hello there, okay? And one more thing I, I need to tell you guys is that in order for this hot code upgrade to happen is that we actually have to have our supervisor and our gen server within our supervision tree or else it's not going to trigger. Okay, sorry to, to go off on a tangent, but this is very important is that our gen server needs to be part of our supervision tree. That's why we have a dynamic supervisor, which will start up every single uh, connection. So we're now going back to here. Now what we need to do is we need to actually handle the change, the code change, right? So we need to find a callback called code change. Now what it does is it takes the old version, which is just uh, the old version of the number in our mix file, the state, which we can break down to room, Timer, and we're going to replace the greeting, but we still need a pattern match on that. And there's also some extra stuff that we don't need to worry about at this time. Two. And then we just need to return a tuple with OK and the new state. So we need the room, the timer, so we can keep the same time as before, and the updated greeting. So because we updated it here, we want all of our new greetings to use the updated greeting, which is already going to do all of our new connections. But we also want to update our old ones, right? So that's why we're just going to use this one over here and ignore the old one in the state. Now, one last thing is, remember I mentioned the version number, the old version. This is the old version, so we want to bump this to a new version. Okay. And when we push our code to Gigalixer this time, 
we're going to have to use a special header to tell Gigalixer that this is going to be a hot code upgrade and not just a regular deploy. So this is what we need to do. First, we need to commit our code. Upgraded, sorry, updated reading and bumped version. Now we need to use git c to pass the extra header. Type HTTP dot extra header equals sign gig elixir hot true push the elixir master And as you see over here, this is going to create something called an app up file, which is going to tell our app how to upgrade the code, which will include the instructions to upgrade our state. And now you'll see this number continue to tick, but you'll see this greeting change to, hey there. Here's our app up file. You see it notice from 010 to 011. Now it's going to see that it's running and going to start to upgrade our code, hot upgrade our code. Here it is, upgrading our instance. You should see this change here in a moment. There we go. As you can see, that is a hot code upgrade. You can see I didn't refresh the page. If I did, this number would be back down and our code was instantly upgraded and our state in our gen server was also updated. That's really some amazing stuff we can do in Elixir. Just imagine deploying a bug fix and not, uh, and not disturbing the current users and making sure everything flows properly. It's just an amazing, uh, amazing thing that we can do in Elixir. So again, this is Alan from Plangora, and this is our series on using Gigalixer. We have a new episode every Friday, so please subscribe, and I'll see you then. Bye.